Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shade XL here, back with another video. And I don't know if y'all seen my video where I kind of did a video talking about Netflix, talking about my movie, talking about my TV series. If you haven't watched it, link in the description. Go check it out after you watch this one or before you watch this one. Either way, we good. We all have this problem. We get too attached to the movies. We get too attached to the TV shows. We all get attached because they just consume so much of our life that we just. We just feel like we're part of it and we develop emotions for these characters. We ship them and we cry when they cry. We get upset when they get upset. And when they die, we cry. Guys, literally, I can't. They're killing off a lot of good characters these days. They killed off Glenn from The Walking Dead. They killed off B. Smith from Wentworth. They killed off Poussey on Orange is the New Black. You don't do that. You don't do that to us. You can't do that because we get too involved. That's what it is. We, we get too involved and our, we just develop these emotions for these characters and we just can't deal with them. Like, we get too attached and the fact that these creators think it's okay just to freaking do that. I remember when I thought Rick and Carl were going to die because this dude, had, this dude was just crazy and they were just going to kill him and then Rick bit his ear off or, or his neck, I don't even remember. But it was dramatic and I was like, oh. <gasps> It's crazy, I just, I don't know what's going on in people's minds, the creator's minds, but they feel like, but they feel like they can just kill off our favorite characters. Every time I care about a character, they end up dying. Like, I'm just like, Shh. I'm just, I'm not even gonna pay attention to shit anymore. And so much I pay attention, can you guess it? Someone dies. Someone dies. And it's it's not fun to watch. So I'm just like, when I remember the recent one I watched was B. Smith and Wentworth, and I was like, you know what? This girl's got a life sentence. We got her for the rest of the maybe five seasons, four or three seasons or whatever. Spoiler alert. They killed her. And I haven't seen that show maybe in like like six, seven months. And I just started to cry. I cried when B. Smith died. Cause, I mean, it was so, it was so dramatic. And then the fact that she saw her daughter at the end because that girl, that girl got her son to kill the daughter. I didn't like it. I, I just, I get too attached to movies and I don't know. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why, why I put myself through this, making me stressed out. I mean, come on, they're, they're people like us. You don't do that. You can't just put us as viewers, watch, oh my God. Like when Glenn died, I mean, Abraham was a savage. She was like, suck my mitt. Suck my nuts. Something like that. And I was like, oh, big fella. That was sucking him. When Glenn died, it was so dramatic because I peeped out. Oh my God. I just popped your skull so hard. Your eyeball just popped out. Oh my God. I can't even. It was so crazy. I'm just like, ah! I was like, are you freaking serious? Are you, are you freaking kidding me? I was just like, oh my, oh my god, oh my god! But like, it was so gross. It was brutal to watch. It was like he looked at Maggie, and it was Daryl's fault. The fact that he was supposed to die, and it was Daryl's fault because he was like, oh, we can't have that. And then he was like. It was Daryl's fault, and let's not blame Daryl because he's such a loved character, but I mean, come on, it was his fault, and the fact that he knew it was his fault, people told him that it wasn't his fault, and he was inevitable. He died because of you, Daryl. <laughs> it was so brutal to watch. They should have kept it out, but I mean, they should have kept it in at the same time. It's a lot to handle. It was a lot to handle, and I mean, just, <sighs> they need to stop killing off the favorite characters. You can't care about a character, because as soon as you care about a character, they die. I, I don't understand. Everybody just keep their mouth quiet about who their favorite character is and we'll just leave it up to them to guess who it is. And maybe they'll pick the least character and then, yeah. Because I remember when Beth died, Maggie was because that's her sister. But I was just like, you stabbed her. She naturally shot you. Well, I mean, it was dramatic, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't like it from the beginning. I kind of started liking her, but then I realized 
It's Beth. You don't like her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Beth. I'm sorry, Beth Green. Rest in peace. You were a good character to the end. We just we just need to come up with a solution, guys. Let's just keep our mouth quiet and maybe they'll guess what favorite character is. But then again, what if they kill one of the most prized character and then there's just an anarchy. anarchy. It's crazy, you guys. I don't, I don't know what's gonna go. Why we just, we just can't deal with it like this. Hashtag save our characters. Hashtag keep them off quiet. Hashtag let's just stop saying hashtags. Let's put a stop to this madness, everybody. We have to get our characters together. We can't let them die no more. And if they die, we riot. Oh my God, isn't that from like if they don't die, we riot? Did I just say that? I think I just said that. <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of my video. And guys. Let's take this matter serious. We need to do an action. We need to do it. Let's make a protocol where every time we love a character, we don't say anything about it. We don't say anything about it and maybe they'll live. Just maybe they'll live and we'll live in the happily ever after. Peaceful TV series for the long time it stays with us. If you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next week.